Hello, in this video tutorial we're going to be talking about the Microsoft Windows DHCP Read Agent. We'll first take a look at what is a DHCP Read Agent. Then we'll show you how to configure routing and remote access services. Finally, we'll install the DHCP Read Agent. So let's start by talking about what a DHCP Read Agent is. The DHCP Read Agent simply relays dynamic host configuration protocol or DHCP messages between DHCP clients and DHCP servers on different IP networks. This is because some DHCP messages are actually broadcast packets. DHCP Discover, Offer, Request, and Acknowledgement packets. These packets are used between clients and DHCP servers to negotiate IP leases. Since routers do not pass broadcast packets, we need to have the DHCP read agent to convert broadcast into unicast packets between the client and the DHCP server. Here's a simple network diagram that we can refer to to better understand how the DHCP read agent works. When a DHCP client connects to the network, it's going to try to negotiate an IP lease. The initial packets that are sent between client and DHCP server are broadcast based. However, routers do not pass broadcast packets. Therefore, a relay agent may be sitting on a router with a routing and remote access service installed so that the relay agent can detect and pick up those broadcast packets and forward them as unicast packets directly to the DHCP server. Then the DHCP server will respond to those packets. The relay agent will pick up the unicast packet sent from the DHCP server and respond back to the clients on the local subnet as a broadcast packet. From the client's perspective, they're unaware that a DHCP server is not existent on the local subnet. So the first thing we're going to need to do is set up a router on our network. For this tutorial, we're going to be using a Windows-based router, specifically a Windows 2008 R2 server. I've already added the routing and remote access role to the server, so I just need to go ahead and configure it. To start, administrative tools, routing and remote access. I need to right click and hit configure and, and enable the routing and remote access service. We'll click next and we'll do a custom configuration. Click next, select LAN routing, click next, click finish and start the service. If you take a look at the icon you'll notice a green arrow indicating that the routing and remote access service is now enabled and configured. At the moment this routing service is only routing packets between the network interfaces on the server. Let's go ahead and take a look at our network diagram. We have a workstation located on the 192.168.100 subnet that's configured as a DHCP client. We have a Windows 2008 R2 server that will be functioning as a relay agent. And on the 192.168.200 network, we have a DHCP server issuing IPs for the 192.168.100 subnet. Let's go ahead and take a look at our workstation and verify that it's configured as a DHCP client. And you see, if we look at the IPv4 properties, it's set to obtain an IP address automatically. Before we set up the relay agent on the server, let's go ahead and make sure that we are not able to access the DHCP server. I'll do an IP config, renew. As you can see, the workstation is unable to obtain an IP address automatically. Let's go ahead and configure the DHCP relay agent on the server. To configure the relay agent, all we need to do is add the network protocol to the IPv4 interface. On the general, right click, new routing protocol, choose the ACP relay agent, click OK, next, right click relay agent, hit new interface. In this case, the server has three interfaces, but the server's interface that is connected to the 192.168.100 network is local area connection 2. I'll click OK. We're going to go ahead and enable relay agent packets, and we're going to give it a threshold of the defaults, which is 4. Click OK. Right click the relay agent, hit properties, and configure the relay agent to send packets to the DHCP server at its address 192.168.200.50. This is the IP address of the DHCP server. Click OK. Let's go back to the workstation. We're going to try again to renew the IP address. Now you see the workstation was able to obtain an IP address through the relay agent. Let's go back and take a look at the relay agent statistics. You notice now looking at the console that three requests were received and there were two replies received. One request discarded. While we're unable to obtain additional information, it just does show that the packets did pass through the relay agent. Well, that concludes this tutorial on the DHCP relay agent. Thank you for watching.